And everything comes in threes, right? This next story, they're all good things. Three baby boys, all healthy, even with mom opting not to have a C-section. Oh, bless you, baby. Bless you. Oh, my. He got your attention, didn't he? That seems to be Sebastian's thing. Sebastian likes to initiate. He'll sit on somebody else's head and kick them. It took a long time for Joey to start fighting back, but he did. <laughs> Victor will spoon. Other than that, he won't interact. <laughs> and so it's just begun for Jennifer and Jim Craig, week number two with triplets. It took months for the idea to soak in. Right from the very beginning, I just laughed a lot. I just couldn't believe it. I showed him the ultrasound picture, <laughs> and he freaked out. And then I was like, oh, wait, this really isn't funny. <laughs> it's a blessing. All three babies weighing in around five pounds and healthy. So is mom, who had a rare delivery. I came to Omaha in 2002, and this is the first uh, patient with triplets who's delivered the babies vaginally during that time at Bergen. Jennifer was able to stay pregnant for 35 weeks, and all three boys were positioned perfectly. From the beginning of baby A to C, uh, total, it took her 23 minutes to deliver all three. It seemed like a plan made out of something that wasn't. Just one of many surprises in life, with many more to come. We're just kind of flying by the seat of our pants. <laughs> Now the triplets are expected to go home in the next couple of weeks. They have a nine-year-old sister, seven-year-old brother waiting for them at their home in Springfield. Mom says the best advice that she's gotten so far, take all the help that's offered.